Welcome to Belize. I didn't really know what to expect when I came here. It's been a really big eye opener. Once we got into the village, it was totally worth it. You'll go, you know, 10 minutes and then you'll see a grass hut and like when we're driving up to certain villages, you'll see kids just running behind us, you know, so excited to see us. And uh, one of the things I love about here is the people. Today we started VBS. It was cool to watch just the little things that brighten up the kids' lives. First, we get them all to the room and we sing some songs. <laughs> Our skits. And however, then we break them up in small groups and we do crafts with them. Just the red bead washes away our sin. The white represents ribs. When you ask Jesus into your heart, all your sins are forgiven. Uh, yesterday, um, me and Dustin were in this group with these kids, and uh, Dustin started talking to him about the wordless bracelet, and uh, he ended up talking to him about uh, if they were saved and if they'd been baptized. As, as soon as they had finished, uh, Pace like asked him, you know, how would you lead someone to Christ immediately? Um, uh, they were like, uh, first you gotta admit your sin, then you have to uh, believe God died for you, and then you have to commit your life. And it, they were just so happy, and um, they really had faith, uh, like a little child, like uh, we all try for. And it was just amazing to see how happy they were, even right after they had accepted Christ. And then um, they said they want to get baptized. So just like an hour after they had accepted Christ, they got baptized in a river, and. Uh, you just, you don't get to see, I mean, back home, it's like in a man-made lake out by the church, but here it was out in uh, the river and it was really awesome. This right here is the pastor's house. This, I'm assuming, is the typical Belizean household made of a thatched roof and wood planks. This right here is the bedroom, so just sleep on hammocks. Very comfortable, I think. This right here is the kitchen place where they make food. This is my friend, habanero sauce, the hottest pepper, and I love him. This is the ground, as you can tell. This right here is a Belize bathroom. It's been amazing to see all the different people and the way they live and the way that they wash their dishes after they're done eating and the way that they cook tortillas and to be there and to make a tortilla with those ladies and see them watch them and watch them cook them it's just amazing to me. Like, I must have played soccer with one one of these little kids Kevin for like two and a half hours. Like, every kick just lit him up and every time I was like trying to say like trying to make him happy. We played soccer with the locals and it was uh, just just a lot of fun a lot of bonding. It's just amazing to see that you can help somebody that doesn't even speak the same language as you. Santiago drew me a picture. I was like, what are you drawing? He was like, I'm drawing you because, because I want you to keep it forever. And he like, wrote his name on it. It's just really special to have these kids that want you to remember them and want to, want to have these relationships with you. The best thing you can provide is like something to do and someone to interact with. It's just so amazing that they still have joy in their lives and they have practically nothing in our worldly standards. I feel like we're just here to uh, obviously show them God's love and just to show them that somebody cares for them, you know, just spending time with them and just connecting with them in general. I think they need anyone to, to give individual attention, just to give each one of them, to make them feel special, to make them feel wanted, to make them feel loved. I mean, I don't think it's, it's a strategy as much as it's just a, the chance to personally connect with, with children that might not have the opportunity to personally connect with, with that many people or, or new people. And then and the Word of God will flow out of that. The Word of God will flow out of the, that personal connection. <laughs>